The family of 12-year-old Bayindamani Aicha Neiche lives in Bolanquillo village, some 60 kilometers from Brazzaville, the capital of the Republic of the Congo. A new road has opened in front of Aicha's home, and along with it, a new bus route. The 20-kilometer trip to the market used to be quite a distance, but today, Aicha and her mother enjoy the convenient transport service like those in cities. Rough tracks and rainforests had made travel difficult, which had affected the supply of almost everything. They also couldn't get to the markets to sell their crops. Avant, c'était difficile pour faire les courses. Maintenant, là, ça va. Je quitte Boulanquio à 45 pour faire le marché. Là, j'ai fait le marché. J'ai tout acheté. C'est beau, vraiment. C'est beau. La route a changé ma vie. Healthcare and education were also problems. For a long time, the children had to walk about 10 kilometers to get to school and often couldn't make it at all when the weather turned. Today, Aicha learned from her father that Chinese workers are to build a new school near her village. When it opens, she will be only a 10 minute walk away. Aicha is counting down the days to when that will happen. En fait, euh, au début, c'était vraiment difficile. C'était vraiment difficile parce que euh, quitter euh, pour être non pour arriver à Brazzaville, surtout en saison de pluie, on pouvait faire une semaine. Et maintenant, avec la construction de la route, c'est en une journée qu'au moins de 8 heures, vous arrivez euh, à destination. Tout le monde attend ça, nous avons vraiment besoin de plus, euh, plus euh, de travaux sur nos, dans notre pays pour le développement même de, de notre pays. In May 2008, National Road No. 1, the largest joint project since the establishment of China Republic of Congo ties, broke ground. Eight years later, the completed 536 kilometer link from the capital to the port city of Pont Noir linked 100 villages in eight regions. The Chinese workers overcame extreme challenges, such as material shortages, mosquitoes, and epidemics, to finish what the locals call the road of dreams. We The National Road No. 1 was finally inaugurated in the presence of President Denis Sasso Ngesso. After constructing the road, Chinese enterprises will also build schools and clinics for free in the eight regions. One of the schools is near Aicha's home. Le rêve même de la construction de cette route euh, pointe noire euh, Brazzaville euh, est, est très ancien. Le prolongement de cette route de Brazzaville 
vers l'extrême nord de notre pays, favorisant donc ainsi la circulation des personnes, des biens, et donc une importance économique, sociale et culturelle immense. Over the years, the African continent's economy has kept growing. Notable progress has been made with integration, with all countries recognizing the concept of Africa opportunity. Currently, cooperation between China and the continent has entered a new stage of transformation and development. At the 2015 Johannesburg Summit of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, Chinese President Xi Jinping announced 10 bilateral cooperation plans over a three-year period with industrial and agricultural modernization at the core. It essentially gave greater incentives for Chinese enterprises to do business in Africa. Today, China-Africa cooperation is currently going through a transition of sorts, from being government-led to letting the market point the way forward, from goods trade to capacity cooperation, and from single business models of project outsourcing to various mixtures of investment, construction and management. With the arrival of Chinese enterprises, the vast African continent is gradually changing. Thirty-year-old Nahal was born in the town of Suez in northern Egypt. Many people see her as a new woman with a strong personality and courage to break traditions. Most of her peers are already married with children, but she is determined to do it her own way. Nahal has worked at the Egypt Tedder Special Economic Zone Development Company for 10 years. Now its CEO, she regularly meets with enterprises planning to move in, whilst she also supervises the construction of the zone's second phase. The China-Egypt Tedder Suez Economic and Trade Cooperation Zone is the first state-level industrial park built overseas by a Chinese company, a product of cooperation between Egypt's Suez Canal Corridor Area Project and the China-proposed Belt and Road Initiative. During his visit to Egypt in 2016, President Xi Jinping and his counterpart, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, unveiled the second stage of the project. Now it has over 90 registered enterprises and has attracted investment of about $1 billion. لأن أنا كنت من ضمن الناس اللي مؤمنة إن دائما المناطق الاقتصادية أو المناطق الصناعية بتبقى من ضمن أسباب نمو اقتصاد الدول بدليل إن التجربة دي نجحت في الصين فكان عندي دافع وحافز قوي جدا إن أنا لازم أطبق الفكرة دي في مصر ونشوف هل هي فعلا the China-Egypt Tedder Suez Economic and Trade Cooperation Zone is pushing ahead with a program to create a modern industrial city. The Chinese management model is going abroad, adapting to local conditions, serving more and more countries and bringing new hope. Nahal is also on the way to realizing her own dreams, carefully planning her future. She has also opened doors for the women around her, showing them just how big the world can be. thousands of miles between Egypt in the north and Namibia in the south. But despite the distance and their vastly different cultures, they share the same ambitions. Kerry B. Puahi is the only female truck driver at the Husab uranium mine in Namibia. Every day, she conveys high-grade uranium ore from the mining area to the ore pile. 
Such a truck is worth $6 million and weighs 45 tons. Kerry B. Puahi is proud that the job allows her to raise her family well. I am known as Kerry B. Fukunona. I'm 31 years of age. I'm a mother of a five-year-old son. So here I'm an old truck operator. What I do every day is uh, on my truck, it's, it's more like we go load material. The Husab uranium mine is by far the world's largest open cast uranium mine with a designed annual overburden of 140 million tons and an ore extraction capacity of 15 million. The hydrometallurgy plant is designed to process the ore and produce 6,500 tons of triuranium octoxide every year. It has the capacity to meet the combined demand of 31 million kilowatt nuclear power plants until the middle of this century. The end products will be delivered worldwide. The project, when operating at full capacity, will increase Namibia's GDP by 6%. It has also provided 4,500 temporary construction jobs for local people, but it should eventually create up to 2,000 permanent posts directly and tens of thousands indirectly. To the fellow young women out there, this is an opportunity that we gotta take. It's not really to say it's not based on like it's a men's world, so women are not even allowed. We gotta take the challenge and live up to the, to the name is the gender equality that we want. While the 10 special cooperation plans look to encourage Chinese enterprises to work in Africa, more new models and concepts tailored to meet local conditions are appearing thick and fast. In the meantime, as the more established Chinese firms in Africa try to absorb new blood, the lives of many ordinary people there are changing. Since the Sino-Togolese company expanded its facilities to produce cassava alcohol, nearby villagers have started to grow the plant in large quantities. Je suis cultivateur à Anier. Je, je, je travaille dans un champ de manioc. Auparavant, on ne faisait pas assez les champs de manioc. Maintenant qu'on a vu que la Sento a équipé beaucoup de machines pour la production de l'alcool, nous aussi on a augmenté nos champs de manioc pour les vendre. Bon, on est très content parce que ça nous aide à, à nourrir aussi nos familles. Akoi will deliver the cassava to the Sino-Togolese company near Asika village. The factory was built in 1984 with Chinese aid. It's now run by a Chinese enterprise. <laughs> Director General Maoshi has worked at the plant for nearly two decades. He has risen from being a 24-year-old translator to its general manager. Togo has become his second hometown where he has made many friends, developed his career, and created many unforgettable memories. We Maoshi often visits this small bar. He likes local beers and enjoys the enthusiasm of the customers. The bar's owner, Comland, also works under him as a warehouse manager at the Sino-Togolese company. He once studied in China and can speak fluent Mandarin. The factory is like a second home and has seen him move from a hut to a cement house and make friends with many Chinese people. The bar is a place for workmates and friends to unwind and enjoy themselves. <laughs> Besides the warehouse, Comlan also interprets between the Chinese and Togolese. <laughs> 
我要生了五个小孩，每个月都我有公司，他们要读书。如果没有工作呢，我没有没有这么多钱。你听见我很好了，跟原来不一样。原来是我接爸爸的家里面，我没有修房子。现在我要几个房子，我要三间，我要酒吧，越来越好。Today, the old China aid enterprise is at a turning point. Some people have settled down in their new hometowns, while some of the old residents are leading new lives. is Freddy. Every day he walks for over an hour to get to work. He has mastered a skill that is known to all Chinese, but few men choose to learn. Embroidery. It's amazing. You see, this earth, some people uh, it's like a uh, Chinese uh, art, so I really like it. So this is why I've come here just for learning so that I can get the knowledge of this embroidery. Sometimes people, they, they earn money by working. You cannot see uh, how much money will, you, will, will, will make you like enough. Yeah, you see, that's why every day we work. We work only focus for the knowledge. Because you see, if you have the knowledge in your mind, you can do your best. You can create your own one. Freddy enjoys his embroidery work at the company. He also has a reliable boss, Ma Xiaomei. It's been over 20 years since General Manager Ma Xiaomei arrived in Africa. After living in several countries, she came to Rwanda in 2014. With a strong faith and gratitude to the country, she really wants to succeed here. Today, C&H has become a well-known exemplary foreign-funded enterprise in Rwanda. Ma plans to expand her plant's capacity and trade in the future. Because卢旺达也必定是一个比较内陆的国家，就是运输的成本，还有这边这个运输的时间，在做外贸服装的时候呢，确实是一个很困难的。那我们就将这些问题呢，反映给了卢旺达的政府。那卢旺达的政府
has been very positive in this country. Moi, je dirais que la Chine nous aide beaucoup pour le développement de notre pays. Euh, et et les, la, la coopération la Chine-Congo par rapport les bourses chinoises qu'on part étudier à la Chine et tout. Since ancient times, the Chinese nation has sought a peaceful coexistence with the rest of the world. Cooperation is a fundamental principle for Chinese enterprises pursuing development in Africa. It also prompts China and Africa to become eternal partners. CATC-51 is today setting out on a mission to assist a working dredger. The port of Abidjan is a key economic pillar for the West African nation of Côte d'Ivoire. In November 2015, its renovation and expansion project, undertaken by the China Harbor Engineering Company, officially got underway. Given the limited berth space and the need to maintain its normal operations, the Chinese firm decided to hand over different berth and water areas in phases. Finally, the roll-on, roll-off wharf was completed and delivered 17 months ahead of schedule, creating huge economic benefits for the nation. Because of the complex work, which required remarkable levels of cooperation, a special team was formed to communicate with the local team over the schedule of engineering ships. Bon, il arrive des moments où le trafic est vraiment dense. Et quand un check demande à sortir ou bien à faire un mouvement, lui demande de patienter. Et il arrive des moments où il peut patienter pendant deux heures de temps. Vous ne vous connaissez pas, que vous vous croisez. Le début sont difficiles, il y a un temps d'adaptation. Mais quand on a commencé à définir des procédures claires de travail avec eux et avec les bureaux de contrôle, les choses se passent très bien. A single thread can't make a cord, and a single tree can't make a forest. Cooperation with all African countries is a common responsibility for Chinese enterprises in Africa, and the China Harbor Engineering Company has been tasked with even more missions. Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-Chinese-
si vous voulez, le barrage de Kaleta, quand je suis venu, vous savez, on avait un grand déficit. On n'avait que 110 MW de en tout pour le barrage. Grâce au barrage de Kaleta, nous avons eu 240 MW. Ensuite, nous avons le barrage de Kukutamba dans le cadre de l'OMVS, dont nous avons attribué la, le contrat à Chino Hydro. Il s'agit maintenant de négocier le, le financement. Okay. Mmh. 我们对整个的电网进行了大量的这个优化它的稳定性得到了非常可靠的提升几年的首都科纳克里在卡拉塔项目脱产之前只有唯一的一家五星级酒店现在五星级酒店至少我所知道的就有三家了另外一个就是说比较干净的餐厅都是以几十家几十家